Hello, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. In the last episode, we just beat some uh, ant things that threw the pins at you. I'm so terrible with the names, but yeah, we beat them, Then this portal opened. So now we're going to go down through this door and continue with the Temple of Droplets. Right. So here we have a lever, but it's too big for us to push. So, what do we have to do? That's right. Clone ourselves and then push it. So, clone yourself down there, and now you push the lever. And a light opens above us. That's that one. Of course, sunlight. Once we get some sunlight to intimate the icy element, we'll be as good as ours. Okay, no puppets. No. Okay. So obviously we need to open the other half to melt the ice containing the water element. But now this side's open, we can go this way. Um Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. <sighs> Blue kinstone piece there. Very nice. Now we have an ice mazey, well not maze, but you know, not fall down the whole puzzle. <laughs> Another blue king so they're just handing them out left and right here. Okay. Right. Um, which way, which way? I'm gonna choose right. And it was the wrong way. Oh, can stone piece. So it was worth going right. But anyway, the way the actual way is left. Oh Jesus, that was close. Right. Um. So we don't have any keys. Can't go that way. So we've got to go this way. hole here, leave on the other side that we can't get to in any way. No, so down still I think. Ah, okay, so we push this lever. No, we push this lever. Which opens, or closes the one above us, just above us I think. And we go over to here, close, push this lever, which opens the one above us. The next floor, then we go back down, push the lever again, which should melt the ice. And in here, the only thing I could think would be a small key. If it's not a small key, then I'll be damned. There we go. So, we want to go back to the small key door. That was up here. There we go. Uh, this looks quite ominous. Okay, yeah, so that closes. And you can do is push the lever. Okay, so here we have. It's not the boss battle of this dungeon, it's a mini boss. But it is a repeat. Um just reskinned. So this is the giant blue choo choo. And as we all know, blue choo choos make electricity. So it's the same the same idea as the giant green choo choo we fought in the um in the uh, Deep Wood Shrine. The first one. The first dungeon kid. Um, oh, okay, right, so when he's making electricity, you can't use the gust jar on him. So you just have to wait. Oh, there we go. 
come on, fall over. That's close. This fight could potentially be quite hard because there's limited time is when you can uh, use the gust around it. Now I'm wasting it rolling around. I'm not sure if the foot, his foot regenerates at all. Is it, is it getting bigger? I can't really tell. Right, there we go. Come on. Imagine if it took us this long to beat every choo choo we found. This game would be pretty intense. Tedious. So now it's just chipping away at his life while he jumps. I'm not trying to die. The gust jar has like a little, um, a little bit of time after you use it. So you want to stop using it long before he jumps and gets you. I'm not doing very well. Hopefully this will be the last one. The last time. There we go. And a true fashion explodes. My chest comes out. And in the chest we have the flame lantern. This handy item lights up the night. Press the button to turn it on or off. So we can have it equipped. Or not equipped. Um, unlike in other Zelda games, it doesn't use mana. There isn't any mana in this game. No. So now we can melt things. Which is always fun. Do I have a fairy? Yeah, okay, so I have a fairy just in case. Okay, wasting rupees again. Hooray! Okay, and now, obviously, the, the second point of this lantern is to produce light. Um, so... Um, I'm unsure as to what I'm doing. Am I meant to light them all up? I think I just have to be. Yeah, I can stop this. Yeah. With that, the door's open. And we can continue. Oh, my favourite mazes. So that one opens that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a good hit. I'm taking damage. So much damage in this place. Not normally this terrible. Okay, bomb door there. This room? That's pretty crazy. Okay, well, that heartbeat, that, that heart was worth it. Okay, so we had to come to this room. So we got a small key. Now we've just got to find a door to use it on. I'm going to choose this way. Kinstone piece. This dungeon really has a lot of kinstone pieces in it. Get away from me. Hmm. We gotta be nearly there. There it is. 
Das ist ja auch da. Another kinstone piece. There are a lot of fusing after this dungeon. So obviously, don't let the fire touch you because it damages you and sets you on fire and stuff. It's not good. And come on, hearts. I need hearts. Here. Finally, we don't need the lantern again. Well, it's a light. And through here. And we have a clone puzzle. I'm not sure if you can pull as a clone. Well, that was fairly anyway. <laughs> Pressing, pressing the pull button deletes the clan. So the only thing we could do is push this one across to allow us to push that one down. And okay, so I need to push this one down. The other one was. Oh, what did I do that for? Right, let's do this properly this time. Push this one down. Cancel the clone. Uh, carefully go up to the top, push this one across, and now we can get out. Oh, I remember this bit. This was not fun. So we have to get um, one of the ice blocks and Link, I think, on each of these things to open the door. Um, but you need to use the cloning pads somehow. I'm unsure how. Right. So let's see, first of all, if we can move. Okay, so these things don't move. Because if we push that one that if we push that one left, they get trapped right there. If we push it right, we trapped in there. So then we must have to use the cloning pads, but you can't use them. Side by side, because uh, anywhere you'll go, you get your clone will get deleted. Hmm. Let's try something else. Let's try this one. And run down here, and then this one. I see. Okay. So if we can get up here and go across and get up to this one, so that means this one has to go on that one across there. Now we do the same colony thing, but be quicker this time. So the next time in the Legend of Zelda: The Mage Cap, I'll be completing this puzzle, and we'll be heading on through the door. So, I'll see you next time.